Hi there. As a woman who is turning 60 in just over a year's time, I've been thinking quite long and hard about how I feel about this, what it means to me. And you know what? I'm not worried about it at all. In fact, if anything, I'm genuinely quite excited about the prospect of going into my 60s. It feels like a fresh start. It feels like the start of something bigger and better. But going into my 60s, 60 feels like the new 40. It feels like that's where my life is about to begin. And in this video, I want to share just some of my thoughts around why I don't see my 60s as a, a scary decade to enter. Quite the opposite. I see it as something I'm really looking forward to. Now, I'm not wishing my life away. I've got another 14 months before I hit 60. I've been thinking about how I felt as I entered each decade growing up and I'm in a very different place this time round to what I was when I went into my 20s, 30s, 40s and 50s. So yeah, I just want to share some of the things that I've been contemplating and reflecting on and journaling on in this video. So I think one of the best things about heading towards my 60s is that I'm now coming out of the messy middle and coming out the other side of the whole menopause transition. And with that means that a lot of the challenges that I experienced with my menopause are diminishing now. I, I don't want to say that all my symptoms are disappearing and they've gone forever because I don't know that that's quite true. But I know, you know, my 50s were re a real challenge with menopausal symptoms and not just my 50s. It, they kind of showed up when I turned 50. Um, I guess I became more aware that they were menopause related. But when I look back, they were a problem really from my mid 40s onwards. I started to not feel as confident or as comfortable with myself as I had before that. So, the fact that they're coming to an end and everything's sort of leveling out a bit, I no longer have periods, which I have to say is a total blessing, not having to worry about any of that sort of thing. And also, as my symptoms are getting fewer and fewer, I feel more emotionally stable, I guess, compared to where I was five or six years ago. I feel like my physical symptoms are much less apparent now. I'm not getting the same sort of level of hot and cold, just running hot. I feel like I permanently was running hot and a lot of the time it was uncomfortable. Now it feels like having come through this summer, they've not been as bad as previous years. So going into my 60s, I'm hoping they're just going to get fewer and fewer. I also feel like I've got more energy again. Certainly in my late 40s, early 50s, it was like my somebody pulled a plug on my energy and that's starting to come back. It's not, it's, it's a different type of energy to the energy I had uh, sort of 10 years ago. It's not necessarily physical energy to want to be going and doing HIIT training or circuit training or going out for a five mile run and things like that. But I feel like I have more energy to pursue the things that I want to pursue. And I've got more energy for relationships, more energy for friendships. And I, I just see that getting better and better as I move into my 60s. The second thing I've been reflecting on is my approach to how I feel about turning 60. As I said, you know, I've got I still got over a year to go. But when I look back on how I felt entering those other decades, I've, I've come out and recording in the car today because I just needed a bit of a break from the computer, but there are some noises that I'm hoping having the microphone on will get rid of. It's an aircraft, I don't know if you can hear that. When I think about how I felt entering those other decades and I reflect back, I realize that actually I didn't feel good about turning 20, 30, 40, etc. When I was a teenager, the idea of being in my 20s felt very grown up and very sophisticated. And yet, when I turned 20, I was about to get married. 
I had some real doubts about the marriage, which turned out to be well justified, but I didn't have the confidence to do anything about it. The wedding was all being planned. And I think with hindsight, looking back, I felt quite railroaded into it. Well, I also found out that I was going to have to leave my hometown, leave my family to move up to the Outer Hebrides, you know, quite remote islands off the, the west coast of Scotland. And I was only 20 and I was, I was leaving to enter into a marriage that I already had doubts about. So to be honest, my 20s weren't a great decade for me. They, like any decade, had highs and lows, but I entered into this not great marriage with a very not nice person. Ended up getting pregnant and having my daughter, which was one of the highlights of the decade, but also going through a divorce. My mum died when I was 22. My dad died when I was 29. So as a decade, it was a pretty horrible decade. There were a couple of highs and lows, as I say, or rather a couple of highs alongside all of those lows. I did meet my current husband, and that was definitely one of the highs, and he turned my life around for me. He's been amazing. But yeah, the 20s weren't that great. So as I was heading towards 30, I don't know, 30 felt, it just felt really old. I don't know. I remember going out for um, a night out with some girlfriends. And actually, I've now since realised those sorts of nightclubby type nights out were never my thing. And I always felt I should be doing them. I should be going out and I should be having a great time. And I just remember going out and f being surrounded by girls in their 20s, you know, early 20s, who looked amazing. By this time, I would just had another baby. I had, a, I had my son when I was 29, another highlight in my 20s, to be fair. But I just had another baby. I felt very frumpy. And I was seeing all of these sort of 20, young 20-year-old, 20 young, free and single. By this point, I was, I'd been divorced and remarried. I'd got two children. I'd spent time as a single mother. It was, you know, just looking around, seeing all of these young girls having what appeared to be a really great time and feeling so old, so frumpy, so, so old. And I remember going to the toilet, probably having had too much to drink and just crying, you know, crying into my friend's shoulder about how my life was finished because I was 30. I know it sounds quite ridiculous now, but you know, that was how I felt as I hit that, that decade. And actually, my 30s did turn out to be a very good decade. We, quite soon after I turned 30, moved to Cyprus and we lived in Cyprus for three years. I trained to be a fitness instructor and I was teaching fitness classes. Uh, so it was a self-employed freelance fitness instructor. And I had some you know, really good memories of Cyprus. And I was starting to feel like I had a proper family, a proper family unit, a family unit that functioned well, as opposed to the dysfunctional one I'd had in my first marriage. And although, yes, I'd lost my parents, I started to feel like my confidence was growing. So although I'd entered my 30s dreading it, actually my 30s turned out to be a really good decade. But when I was heading towards 40, 40 just, everybody says life begins at 40. But for me, it felt like my life was ending. The closer I got to my 40s, the closer I was getting to the age my parents were when they passed away. Not entirely. My mum was 54. My dad was 63. But in my mind, I was heading closer to it and I started to get this real sense of mortality. And I just remember we went to Paris in January for my 40th birthday. And although we had a nice time, it was freezing cold and we just seemed to jump from one coffee shop to the next to try and stay warm. And even though I had a lovely, you know, few days in Paris, it just, it felt marred by the cold and, and not feeling comfortable. And that kind of summed up how I felt about going into my 40s. It felt cold and uncomfortable. 
And actually my 40s were, again, like all decades, highs and lows. But I realized as I was getting into my 40s, one of the things that I was probably most worried about as I left my 30s was the fear of getting old. The, the fears around turning 40 actually turned out to be not so impactful. You know, the idea of getting older, I don't know, it just, it, maybe it's nature's way of preparing us for older age, but it felt like when I got into my 40s, I was starting to find out who I was. I started to get a real interest in personal development and read lots of self-help books and listened to lots of self-help CDs. And it, it did make a difference. And I started to feel like I was capable of doing things that I had never done before. I skied for the first time in my 40s and found that actually I really quite enjoyed it. I wasn't any good at it, but I found I really enjoyed it. And I kind of remember thinking, why was I so scared to try this when I was younger? Because I wouldn't try anything if I thought I might look like a, a fool. But when I learned to ski in my 40s, I fell on my backside a lot. But I built this sort of self-confidence, I guess, where doing something that made me look silly, as long as I was trying, it didn't really matter. And that was such a shift for me in a, from a, you know, a mindset shift. I also to say, you know, the whole personal development stuff, I started to begin to understand my brain a little bit more. Not anywhere near as much as the, the lessons I've learned in my 50s. But I just, I, I was sort of growing into myself, I think, in my 40s. And yes, there were other things going on, like my body was changing. I was starting to enter perimenopause. But it, on the whole, I felt good about myself. I'd finally found the courage to go for a promotion and uh, I got the, the dream job I'd wanted and everything was clicking into place and my confidence was growing. And as I was heading towards 50, all of those worries again came back. I remember entering my 50s feeling very frumpy, fat, just like I'd lost sight of who I was, which, you know, 10 years is a long time. So that whole sort of up and down in my 40s, I'd got a bit complacent, I think, but I entered my 50s really, again, quite worried about the, my 50s, thinking, well, my 40s was good, but my, four, my 50s can't be. And I also got my first hot flush on my 50th birthday. So that was like, OK, kid, menopause is here, well and truly here. But actually, do you know what? My 50s has turned out to be the best decade of my life. Again, highs and lows. Life is always full of highs and lows. But my first two years of my 50s, really, really struggling with menopause and what I now know to be a, a late diagnosed ADHD or at the time undiagnosed ADHD. And I ended up leaving my job. It was all very challenging from a kind of so mentally, emotionally. But blimmin' heck, and then my 50s, I've started a business, I've written a book, I've done a TED Talk, I've started my YouTube channel, I've met amazing people, I've been on, you know, wonderful holidays, I've, we've travelled, we've had more time, because both Mark and I started working for ourselves, we suddenly got this level of freedom we'd never had before, we've paid off our house, it's just like it's been this lifting of a lot of pressures. But of course, there have been pressures as well. There are pressures involved with running and building your own business. And, you know, the, the whole menopause stuff wasn't great. It didn't go away. It's taken quite a few years to, for, to, for that to settle down. But on the whole, my 50s has been, have been great. So as I'm going into 60, I'm thinking, right, okay, so every decade so far, I've felt a bit of dread about the next decade. And every year, uh, or rather every decade on decade, it's proved me wrong. It's proved that actually that getting older has been brilliant. It's been fun and it's been a learning adventure. So I'm seeing my 60s in a different light. I'm entering this next decade 
from a place of real positivity and hope. And, you know, yes, my 60s will have ups and downs. Of course they will. But I just feel going into this decade, something has shifted in me. Instead of it feeling scary, it feels really exciting. Instead of it feeling like I'm getting old, instead it feels like I'm just getting wise. And I don't know, there's something that's shifted that's making me really look forward to my to my 60s. This is going on much longer than I was expecting. So I'm going to uh, speed up a bit. I think the other thing that I'm looking forward to going into my 60s is to see my confidence continue to grow. I've seen my confidence grow exponentially in my 50s. It started in my 40s and it's grown in my 50s. And I just see it getting more as I enter into my 60s because I feel like every year, year upon year, decade upon decade, I've been able to let go of an awful lot of emotional and psychological baggage that I've carried. A lot of my own limiting beliefs, I'm being able to break through them. Am I through them all? Have I got them all sorted? Hell no. But I feel like I'm letting go of them year on year. And that feels, it just feels lovely. It feels like actually I can go into my 60s feeling more like the person I really want to be. Big part of that, I think, has been getting my ADHD diagnosis and helping me to really understand who I am and why I am the way I am. Because now going into my 60s, I can go into that decade armed with a lot of self-awareness. And for me, that's just a amazing. I think one of the big things I'm looking forward to is retiring. I can't ever imagine myself retiring fully, but over the next 12 to 14, 15 months, my plan is by the time I reach 60, I will have wrapped up my business. I will have simplified life from a business perspective, from a work perspective. Really, what I would love to be doing is just creating content. So I'm hoping that by the time I hit 60, I will have let go of all of those pressures of needing to work. I'm, I'm very appreciative of the fact that financially we're in a position where we can start to wind things down. And actually not having that pressure of working, having to work, I think will be really quite liberating quite energizing it's going to be an opportunity I think in my 60s to do things that I want to do for fun that I want to do because they make me happy that I want to do because it gives me the opportunity to spend time and share experiences with Mark so we want to travel we want to do more cruises we want to get our camper van and go and explore the world. We want to do much more dancing. We love our Latin and ballroom dancing. And there are things that I also want to start to be able to do. I would like to get more into artistic pursuits. I'm not a particularly artistic person, but I would like to maybe go and learn how to paint or do a creative writing course. I want to use my 60s to further expand my mind and just enjoy the, the process of learning. I love learning. I have been a lifelong learner, but a lot of what I've been trying to learn has always been with an intention, with a purpose. And I think it would be nice in my 60s to just learn things for the fun of learning. Finally, to wrap this up, I think one of the biggest things for me in terms of heading into my 60s, and it's possibly a bit of a a reinforcement of some of the things I've spoken about already is just letting go of the expectations that I have placed on myself and that I felt other people and society have placed on me as a woman all my life. You know, being able to let go of the need to be a people pleaser. I don't know, there's something in my mind is telling me that in my 60s, I've earned the right <laughs> to be selfish. I've earned the right to put myself first. And it, it, it is something I've been working on a lot in my 50s. And, you know, it's not, it's not fully there. But I, I feel as if by the time I get into my 60s, I'm going to be getting better and better at doing this. And that's, you know, I, whenever I talk about 
sort of letting go of of the people pleaser it it always there's a trigger in my mind that says but you need to explain that that doesn't mean to say you're not going to help anybody in the future so there's obviously um a, a bit of conditioning in my brain that I need to be helping people and if I'm not helping people it makes me a bad person so yeah I'm, that's something I still need to work on but I feel as if as I head into my 60s I've earned the right to put me first more often than I have been without apologizing for it so there you go there are my reasons for really looking forward to being 60 and I'd love to know if you're heading towards your 60s how do you feel about it? Are you excited or does it still scare you a little bit? Does it feel like it's getting old or does it feel like a new start? And if you're already in your 60s, let me know, has it exceeded your expectations or not? Very interested to know. And if you've enjoyed this, you know, please do consider giving it a like, giving it a thumbs up, Um, The algorithm loves it and I would love you for it too. I will talk to you soon. Take care.